Alonzo Franklin Herden. Born June 26, 1858 in Walton County, Georgia, to Frank Herden, a white plantation owner, and his slave, Sophini. He worked on his father's plantation till he was freed at the age of 12 by the 13th Amendment. Shortly after, he became a sharecropper and began selling molasses and peanuts to bring in more income. In 1878, at the age of 20, Herden left his home and moved to Jonesboro, Georgia, where he began an apprenticeship as a barber. Three months later, Herden would open his own shop. By 1904, Herden owned three barbershops in Atlanta and advertised them as the largest and most extravagant barbershops in, in the city. In 1893, Herden married Andrina Elizabeth McNeil, an Atlanta University professor. Andrina and Alonzo would later have a son named Norris Bummington Herden. In 1905, Herden purchased a failing insurance company. The company would expand rapidly and begin establishing branches in Kentucky, Texas, Missouri, Tennessee, Kansas, and Florida. Harden would also save other insurance companies by merging them with Atlanta Life. In 1902, Atlanta Life became the most successful black business in the nation. In 1913, Herdin opened up the Crystal Palace, one of Herdin's largest and exquisite barbershops in Atlanta, Georgia, located on 66 Peach Tree Street. After his success in the barbershop business, Herdin decided to invest his money into real estate. Herdin would later own at least 100 retail homes in Atlanta, in Atlanta Georgia, and would own a plantation located in Fort Taverns, Florida. By the time of his death, Herden would accumulate $3 million in real estate holdings. After the death of Andrina, Herden's first wife, he would later marry Jesse Gillespie of Chicago, Illinois. which is currently registered as a National Historic Place. Alonzo Herden would die on July 21st, 1927, at the age of 60. His company would... leaving Jesse and Norris to run his life insurance company after his death.